Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x minus 3 whole to the power 6 is equal to 4 to the power 6. We need to find all possible values of x. First of all, we move this 4 to the power 6 to the left side. x minus 3 whole to the power 6 minus 4 to the power 6 is equal to 0. Next, x minus 3 whole to the power, we can write this 6 as 3 times 2 minus 4 to the power, we can write this 6 as 3 times 2 is equal to 0. Now, according to this property of exponents, a to the power m times n is equal to a to the power m whole to the power n. We can write this uh, x minus 3 whole to the power 3 times 2 as x minus 3 to the power 3 and whole to the power 2 minus we can write this uh, 4 to the power 3 times 2 as 4 cubed whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 0. Now, according to this algebraic identity, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This uh, x minus 3 cubed whole squared minus 4 cubed whole squared can be factorized as x minus 3 cubed plus 4 cubed. times x minus 3 cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x minus 3 cubed plus 4 cubed is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 3 cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0. So, we have two cases here. This is case 1 and this is case 2. First, we solve this case 1. In case 1, we have x minus 3 cubed plus 4 cubed. Now, according to this algebraic identity, a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This uh, x minus 3 cubed plus uh, 4 cubed can be factorized as x minus 3 plus 4 times x minus 3 squared minus 4 times x minus 3 plus 4 squared is equal to 0. Next, x negative 3 plus 4 plus 1 times x minus 3 whole squared is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9 negative 4 times x negative 4 x and negative 4 times negative 3 plus 12 plus 4 squared is 16 is equal to 0. Next x plus 1 times x squared this is negative 6 minus 4 x negative 10 x and this uh, plus 9 plus 12 21 and 21 plus 16 plus 37 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus 10x plus 37 is equal to 0. From here x is equal to negative 1 
this is the first value of x now we solve this quadratic equation this is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 10 and c is equal to 37 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b negative 10 plus or minus square root of value of b negative 10 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 37 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and x is equal to minus minus positive 10 plus or minus square root of negative 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 1 times 37 148 divided by 2 next x is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 148 negative 48 divided by 2 and this is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of we can write this in negative 48 as 16 times 3 times negative 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 3 and this square root of negative 1 is equal to i divided by 2 and this is equal to 10 over 2 plus or minus 4 times square root of 3 times i over 2 next x is equal to 2 1 time 2 5 times 10 and 2 1 time 2 2 times 4 so here left 5 plus or minus 2 times square root of 3 i we get two values of x x2 is equal to 5 plus 2 times square root of 3 i and x3 is equal to 5 minus 2 times square root of 3 i so for now we have found three values of x now to find other three values solve this second case x minus 3 whole cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0 in case 2 we have x minus 3 whole cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0 and according to this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared this uh, x minus 3 whole cubed minus 4 cubed can be factorized as x minus 3 minus 4 times x minus 3 squared plus 4 times x minus 3 plus 4 squared is equal to 0 next x negative 3 minus 4 negative 7 times x minus 3 whole squared is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9 and 4 times x plus 4x 4 times negative 3 negative 12 plus this 4 squared is 16 is equal to 0 next x minus 7 times x squared this negative 6x plus 4x negative 2x and this 9 plus 16 25 25 minus 12 plus 13 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression x minus 7 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus 2x plus 13 is equal to 0 now from here 
x is equal to 7. This is the fourth value of x. Now, we solve this quadratic equation. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2 and c is equal to 13. And according to quadratic formula, x is equal to minus value of b negative 2 plus or minus square root of value of b negative 2 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 13 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and x is equal to minus minus positive 2 plus or minus square root of negative 2 squared 4 minus 4 times 1 times 13 52 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 52 negative 48 divided by 2 and this is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of we can write this in negative 48 as 16 times 3 times negative 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 3 this square root of negative 1 is equal to i divided by 2 and this is equal to 2 over 2 plus or minus 4 times square root of 3 times i over 2 and x is equal to this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left 1 and from here 2 1 time 2 2 times 4. So, here left 1 plus or minus 2 times square root of 3 i. So, from here we get 2 values of x. x 5 is equal to 1 plus 2 times square root of 3 i and x 6 is equal to 1 minus 2 times square root of 3 i. So, these are the 6 values of x.